Hello, my name is Brian Beckham. I'm the Chief Technology Officer here at BrainJox. In today's video, we're going to show a fundamental feature of the BrainJox score for Sitecore platform. We call it rendering elasticity or elastic renderings. So I'm going to flip over into my demo website. Uh, the demo website, for those of you who haven't seen it, is just a, a basic content website. It has various elements of content on the page. Uh, just something that we can play with to demonstrate these fundamental concepts around how SCORE works and, and how you interact and use it as an editor. When I flip over into editing mode, you get a different view of the content. In editing mode, you get a little more of a sense of the structure of the content and the renderings that were used to compose a page. So to demonstrate elasticity, first of all, let's uh, select the tab set down at the bottom of the page here. So the tab set, as you can see, is a collection of tab panels, and, and inside of each one of these panels, there is some content. Uh, in this case, some structure that formats the content correctly, and then just some content elements, images, and, and text, etc. Now, the tab set itself is a collection of content. It's a, a nested structure. What I should be able to do as an editor, when we talk about rendering elasticity, what we really mean is, is that the editor should have the full capabilities of Sitecore to create, uh, to rearrange, to edit the content in, in whatever way they see fit without being limited by the technology. So taking this tab set and moving it over into the right panel does exactly what you would think. It moves the entire tab set and all of its nested content elements over into the right panel, but everything is preserved. So that's, that's a successful move. Exactly what we thought would happen does happen. Now, another example of rendering elasticity is using Sitecore's rendering compatibility feature. If I wanted to change out, for example, the, the layout of this page, what we've done in this case is we have made the, the page layout itself a component and then created other compatible renderings for these page structures. So right now, the, the page is in a two-column wide left structure. If I move that into a two-column wide right, let's take a look at what happens. Sitecore does exactly what you would think it should do. Uh, the content in the sidebar is moved over to the left to change the page orientation. But none of my content has been lost. All these nested structures are preserved. Uh, everything is in its proper place. I could do the same thing uh, making a more significant change. Let's say that I wanted to go from a two-column layout on the page to a three column layout. Well the editor should have the flexibility and the ability to do this and as you can see when I add the third column uh, I can now move some things around. So I'm going to take my snippet, I'm going to move it over into this uh, right side. Tab set doesn't fit very well on this left side column anymore so I'm going to move it down back into the body of the page. Um, this horizontal menu I don't like it in a three column layout, so I'm just going to take it off. And over on this left hand side, what I'll do is I'll pick a navigation that fits a little bit better, so the, this section vertical menu. Uh, now that Sitecore has added my content, I'm going to save it. And let's take a look at the final page in the preview. Thank you for watching this video on BrainJock Score for Sitecore. To learn more about Score or to get a live demo of the full feature set, please visit us at brainjocks.com/score.